This is process sizzle, this is process pool, and this is processectomy. But let's start from the very beginning. Team Fortress 2 has 159 unique maps, unless you play competitive, in which case it has one, process. Widely considered to be the most balanced map in the game, aside from minor collision and lighting fixes, there's basically no way to improve it. So I destroyed it instead. What we have here are three entirely new TF2 maps conceptualized by me and built by my friend Urk. You may know him from that new Pelican Peak map that was added to the game in the last update. Anyways, I threw these maps up on my Grouchland servers, invited you guys to the party, and on that day, process panic finally began. Player damaging lava was officially added to TF2 in 2015 with the manpower update on CTF Hellfire. And I'll just be honest with you guys, it sucks! So Urk improved the lava by giving it Super Mario physics. Seriously. This technique was invented by Tifted and is so much more fun than normal lava because it provides diversity in the gameplay for classes like Heavy who don't often get any. In a normal game, Heavy's movement options are as follows. Walk. But on Process Sizzle, his movement is radically changed, because while he can still only walk around so fast, his vertical movement is turned on its head. He can hop between levels of the map like nobody's business, staying revved up while doing so, and since he has such a large health pool, it doesn't even hurt him that much. TF2 players are used to watching the skies for soldiers and maybe scouts and demo men, but now you've got to factor in flying heavies and suicide spies. If you think stair stabs are crazy, wait until you see flaming lava jump 360 crater stabs. Urk really ran with the Halloween theme for this map by adding spooky props and sound effects, giving the whole place a truly hellish atmosphere. He also unpromptedly added crit pumpkins that drop after every player death, which when picked up gives you a few seconds of guaranteed critical hits. If you're one of those people who hates random crits, you should theoretically love this because hey, at least they're not random anymore. Although we still do have random crits enabled on the server, sorry. When Urk and I destroyed Harvest earlier this year, you guys made it pretty clear that Harvest Water was your favorite. You sick animals. Luckily for you, the rubber bands and Elmer's glue holding together the plumbing on CP process has once again given out, leading to the whole map turning into a flood zone. Whenever that first point is captured on process pool, the whole map starts sinking, as in filling up like a sink. The whole process takes a couple of minutes, so if you like playing on land, you better win the game fast or else you'll be in for a slippery surprise. Once again, pyro sharks, waterproof sentries, and tantalizing heavy swim animations make a triumphant return. For all you sniper haters, it's time to rejoice because despite him being slightly broken on some of the maps added last update, on process pool his vision is severely limited by all the dirt, grime, and glue filling the waters of his team's fortress. Which reminds me, this episode of TF2 Destroyed was brought to you by Elmer's Glue. Elmer's Glue. F*** you. Urk also added a few easter eggs around each of the maps if you take some time to look for them, which I really approve- OH MY GOD IT'S A MELEE DUEL! Okay, I have to come clean with you guys, this map is not actually titled Processectomy in-game. That is right, I have fooled you, you imbecile. I originally wanted to name it Processectomy because of the saws, but the idea was rejected because apparently Urk didn't want people thinking about self-mutilating surgery while browsing his professional workshop page. Puzzling, I know. We did eventually agree on Process Panic, which is the objectively better name, but just be happy I didn't name it Process or Process or Process Sauce or something like that. With that out of the way, this map is crazy. Earlier this year you saw us crash High Tower into Harvest, but this time around we've got five different maps mixed into Process. Sawmill, Brazil, Suijin, Badlands, and Nucleus. That's right, it's asymmetrical just like the original Harvest Tower. This is my personal favorite map of the three because I'm a huge King of the Hill fan. See, normally on a map like Suijin, once you cap the point, you basically have two options. One, sit down and wait for somebody to shoot you, or two, the spawn camp. That's no longer the case here on Process Panic. With the more dynamic 5 CP game mode, players are interacting with these spaces in ways not typically seen. I mean seriously, when's the last time you've seen a teleporter exit successfully placed on the underbelly of the Brazil Tower? It just doesn't happen. We decided to have one of the final points be Nucleus, because when you're capping the point on regular Nucleus, you're already pretty much fighting people as they're leaving spawn, so not much really changes as far as that's concerned. I also had a little bit of server trouble while we played this map, causing a tiny bit of lag. 
Now, unfortunately, the United States government won't let me show you what the final points of process panic look like in action. Either that or my recording is glitching out. So you're just going to have to go over to grouchland.net and play these maps for yourself. Huge thanks to Zindi, Brinks, D-Money, Il Mexu, Lego Lutu, Shork, and Cody for supporting the Grouchland servers on Patreon. If you want to support the servers, die!